We've got someone as well. Yes! We're up next. Wait, why don't you take my food? My food. What do you want to say? We've got C. We've got C. We've got C. We've got C. I know it. I know it. I know it. I'm going to flip the table. Your mum just hit. She mum just hit. Your mum just hit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. So as you can see from the title, we've just drawn Man City away in the cup. Crazy, absolutely unreal. If you had asked me beforehand, what is the one team that I, uh, that I wanna play against? I would've said Man City away. Um, I know it's gonna be so tough. You get so excited when these draws come out and then when you get on the pitch, it's like, phew, I'm not even touching the ball here, but we're going to give it everything. I uh, cannot wait to play against the likes of KDB, Mara, Sterling. Just playing against a pep side, you know, just to really see what that level is like. So it's going to be a real, real, real exciting one. It's going to be a great video for you guys. I'm going to show you as much as I can behind the scenes, uh, the warm up, in match footage, and hopefully I'm going to leave with KDB shirt.
decent. How was it like? It could have been 15 1, no? <laughs> we didn't, to be fair though, we had a couple of chances. Yeah. 3 1, we had that 1 on 1. Come, we make it 3 2. Oh my god. When they attack, they don't waste anything. They, you can't. You can't stop their attack, it's crazy. It's crazy. You switch off for a second, that's it. Mental. Standard's frightening, but look. They played. Their front six today was probably one of the best front six in the world, though. Do you know what I mean? All right, guys, so I thought I'd jump in here after um, last night's game and let you know what it was like to play against Man City. Obviously, we lost 6 1. The result wasn't what we wanted, but they did have. Some unbelievable players playing. KDB, Mares, Foden, Ferran Torres, Raheem Sterling. And we made a lot of changes from uh, our Saturday game. Obviously, the priority for us this year is getting promoted. So the gaff wanted to rest a few people. We made seven or eight changes. Um, but look, it was it was unbelievable to play against these top talents. We went 1-0 up, half an hour in. That feeling um, was incredible, you know. 30, 35 minutes in, scoring against City at the Etihad. Buzzing that I got a little assist, not many people can say that. But then yeah, look, they turned it up a notch and uh, obviously their quality shone through. It was always gonna be a tough game, you know. Before this game, a lot of people were saying to us, look, you draw against, you draw an Arsenal or a Chelsea or a Liverpool in the cup or United, you think to yourself, look, they could play some youngsters and you've got half a chance. You've seen some upsets like that. But with City, it's always um, a case of can you just, just try and keep the scoreline down because they've got so much talent. The way they play, they're always going to rip teams apart. And I remember a couple of years ago, I think they scored 9 or 10 against Burton in the Cup. And um, I think that feeling sort of uh, dawned in amongst the lads later on in the game, 70, 75 minutes, we thought, look, OK, let's just try and keep the scoreline respectable here because these boys are these boys are on it today. So, all in all, great experience. And um, what I would say to you guys is, I remember I had a moment on the pitch where I was just looking at KDB, Sterling, uh, Foden, Mares, all these top talents, and I thought to myself, look, like these lot are just... These lot are just human beings. Obviously, up until yesterday's game, I'd only ever seen them on TV or played with them on FIFA. But they, it made me realise that anyone can get to that level. It's not unattainable through hard work and dedication. They're just like us, you know, and they've, and they've reached that level because of the hours they put in, the sacrifices they've made. It was confirmed after the game, I was lucky enough to to catch up with Pep, you won't believe it, my microphone stopped working when I checked the footage last night, I was absolutely fuming with that. Um, but I managed to catch up with Pep and I said to him, I asked him, Pep, like, what does it take to get right to the top? And he said, everything that I've been saying to you guys, hard work, dedication, and he said that you have to train like a madman every day, train like you play, 100% intensity and um, you will then notice a small improvements every single day in your game. And that's what these top guys have done, you know. They've really put in the hours to perfect their craft and um, obviously it's paying off for them. So I think any of you guys out there watching who may be playing at a lower level right now, don't ever think that you can't get to this top level where these guys are because they once were where you were at and um, look, they've got there, so anything is possible. But anyway, guys, on to uh, something more exciting. You would have already seen it. The main man KDB shirt. I actually asked him for this just after we scored our goal. I ran back and um, I just went up to him and said, Kevin. It's probably not a great time to ask you, but do you mind if I get your shirt after the game? And he was a top, top guy, you know, he was like, yeah, 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 no problem. He's probably thinking inside, why are you asking me that now? And he's just gone the other end and equalised straight away, so probably backfired in hindsight. But if any of you guys want to win this match-worn KDB shirt, all you have to do is get down in the comments below, comment KDB, and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. So... 
I'll announce the winner on my Instagram, so keep a lookout for that. If you're not, if you're not following me, follow me on there as well, um, because you may win the shirt. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got a massive video coming up for you guys next. It's a new feature. You guys are going to love it. So um, stay tuned and, uh, and I'll see you then, guys. Mm -hmm.